Hello, here we are on the Tech Hub project and we do today the 14 product from the project. Let's see what the product is this. So the 14 PDF guide is here and this is a fidget spinner. It's a orbital fidget spinner. And how we can see it has three orbital rings that rotate in opposite on perpendicular directions and the external ring had two slots to shape for keeping with the fingers. Okay, let's make this design. So first component, first feature is to create a circle with diameter of 50 and after that create two arcs with radius 65 at distance of 87 from the center. Okay, let's try to do that. Start a new part. On this part, create a sketch and choose a plane. From plane as usual. Create a circle and after that I can create another two circles as like this. And just constraint them. This should be diameter 15. This should be I so radius. So this should be one. Uh, something like this and this should be equal so these two circles should be equal yes and of course they should be with center on same vertical with the origin so this is same and they should be a distance of 87 uh, millimeters so from here to here should be 87 and from here uh, sorry and from here to here also same value just click on previous dimension okay and just trim what remain there yes like this and these small arcs good exit from sketch and let's see what we obtain this is our sketch go to feature and let's see what we should apply to this uh, shape so it have height 5 and uh, Thin feature 2.5 external. Okay, extreme. This 5 millimeters and thin feature 2.5. Validate and we obtain this shape. Good. With this uh, shape, uh, let me see it. it should go inside or outside. Okay, let's go to second sketch. It's a circle with 37 millimeters. Okay, circle on front, and here should be a circle with 37 millimeters. Like this, and here should be 37 Exit from sketch, rotate, and apply to this circle an um, internal and first one should be also I think internal with same settings. So this 5 and in feature 2.5 internal. Yes, so I will change the direction. Okay, and for first one I also will change the direction. It should be also internal. Yes, good. So these are the directions. Okay, so I obtain first two features. Go to tier oh. one, it's a circle with 27 millimeters. So repeat again the circles, and it will be a circle with 27 millimeters diameter, of course. Good, so this is the tier one. And for this one, we will apply, I think, just extrude with 5 millimeters, yes, without thin feature. So it will be a full 5 millimeters. Uh, cylinder. Good. And we had all three main body. After that, we add a text in center. So I will create a sketch on this surface. We'll look properly about the surface. Yes. And create a text. But before I create a text, I will create an axis and say that I want axis from here to here. Yes. 
taxes, I will add a text. And we say, and I want to center this text. I want to use a specific font. So I like Arial because I like how it can be printed bold. And here should be, let's say, four millimeters or five. It, okay, five. It's uh, very, very nice. Good. And to this text, we'll. Uh, okay, you'll use settings from here, but I do what setting I want to add. And I don't add 4.0. If you want to add it, it's okay. So I will cut this with one millimeter. Exit from sketch, go to feature, and uh, not extrude, no, no, extrude cut, because I want to cut this text. Yes. And this should be one millimeter cutting. Like this. Yes. So I cut this text. You can change text and add your own customized text here. It's not necessary to use a tech hub text. So this is just an example and you can use your own text that you want. After that, we will do the holes. Yes. So we'll do the holes in first ring. Yes. And these holes should have uh, diameter four. So here will be two uh, two holes on this, yes. And I need to create it on the middle. So in order to create it on the middle, I will create a plane. So I say between this face and this face, I want a plane. Yes, and there appear a plane. And on this plane, I will create a sketch, look perfectly good to it, and add a shape. So I will create from the origin an axis, a horizontal one, and on this axis, I will add a rectangle with diameter 4, like this, diameter. The length should be from here to here, should be, let's say, 25. I just should ensure that this go outside of the contour. And from here to here, also a distance to ensure 20. Ensure that it go outside here. And create this whole yes, feature and just make a revolve cut like this. And I obtain a hole here, yes. Okay, and I want a mirror on this plane that cut vertically my part, and I want last extrude to, last revolve to be there. And here appear the second one. I will hide the plane, okay. And now the second feature will be, uh, let me see, to add a three millimeter pin between these two part. Okay, so create another sketch on same plane. Yes, on this on plane one, look perpendicular to sketch and add and I, again an axis from the origin and be sure that this is a origin. This is not uh, some features. Yes, so from origin add an axis and on this axis from here to here add the what I know about this pin, it have diameter three, so this should be three millimeters, yes. And the length from here to my origin should be, I will measure it, 20, no, uh, 25. Yes, it's okay, 25, but I can do it 24.5, 24.5, yes. It's not a problem, it is a little inside because this uh, distance is enough for make it longer. And here I should ensure that it's inside, so I can make it 15, and no, it's too much, 17, yes. I should ensure that here it's an internal contact just. And here I will do the revolve to add material. Yes, I want to add material to create a pin that go from that part to this part and just rotate around this. Yes. And of course, I will make a mirror on this plane and I want this feature on opposite corner. Okay. So I have the first orbital part and you can see here the gap, the space between the pin and the hole in order to can rotate this part. And I will re repeat the operations on this uh, direction yes but now i will do the hole here and the pin here yes so i will repeat operations okay on plane one create a sketch 
and first sketch will be for cutting the holes. So here the axis will be vertically. So ensure that I take it from origin, create an axis, and now just put a rectangle somewhere here and ensure that this diameter is four millimeters. Yes, four. And the distance should be somewhere from here. Yes, sorry, from here to here should be, let's say, 19 millimeters. I should ensure that I don't touch this part because it's rotated around. Okay, and from here to here should be, let's say, 15. Yes, it's enough. Okay, go to feature, revolve cut, and cut here a hole. Yes, you saw, you can saw, uh, you can see that here it's a hole. And repeat uh, mirror, and from this plane, I want to make this here, yes, and validate the result. Good. Go to sketch on same plane, on plane one, create another sketch, and again, axis, and ax, I need the center line here, yes, and add the pin. So this will be a rectangle somewhere from here to here. So just ensure that I have contact here on this part and let's say it is 10 millimeters and from up it will be nearest of upper part so it will take 18 and the diameter should be 3 millimeters good exit from sketch go to feature and take revolve and add the pin yes so i have the pin there and it's inside of this hole of course so i can take um, uh, section view and we can view ooh, how it's look there up yes so now you can see how this look here yes so it's same like here but we connect other parts so now we had this rotating part and make a mirror for this pin yes so from this plane mirror this pin that's it yes And of course, here are all pins shown how to create them. Yes, and of course, we can add appearance for this. And let's say the outside ring to be um, yellow. The second one to be, let's say, red. Yes, the third one to be uh, blue. The text to be green. Yes, the pins to be, to, I don't know, black. And this is our design of the fidget spinner. And of course, you can customize your toy how you want and just save it and say video 15 for this one. Uh, 14, sorry. Sorry, it's just 14 for now. Okay, save it and this is our future product for Tech Hub project. Thank you for watching. See you on next video. Bye.